with the KX News Storm Team. Coming up on 616 here on your Tuesday morning, and uh, we have uh, a very muggy morning. Oh, so, yes. uh, yeah, definitely dress uh, cool today. D dress for hot weather. Yes. Dress, you know, sleeveless maybe. Yes. It, it's it's going to be muggy. muggy. It's going to be hot today. We're back into the <laughs> 90s. Uh, you're going to feel it as you get out there. It's really going to help uh, fuel those severe weather we have later, especially mm -hmm. with that cold front. That's not going to lower our temperatures. It's just going to help initiate some of those storms yeah, late in the afternoon. For sure. Yeah, well, we'll start off on our satellite and radar right now. There isn't much over in North Dakota, uh, just cloud cover trying to build in. But as we look up uh, towards eastern Montana, we actually do have uh, a severe uh, thunderstorm warning that has been issued up until 6 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Uh, those are for Roosevelt and Daniels counties. Uh, 60 mile per hour winds with this system. We're seeing quarter sized hail as well. We'll continue to keep an eye on this. It should start to weaken as it gets closer into North Dakota, but this thing has been back and forth. Uh, it, it, it was sort of de intensifying a little bit earlier and now it has re intensified. So we'll continue to monitor that through the rest of the morning as well. Uh, highs this afternoon showing us in the 90s. Uh, we do have some 80s up to the north, uh, 89 in Stanley, 86 in Botano and in Crosby. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if you also got to the 90s today as well. Uh, temperatures across the region shows us most Mostly in the 60s, but we do see some 70s. Minot 73, uh, Mobridge 73 as well, and Wolf Point also at 72. We also have a 50 beach at 59 degrees right now, but we'll continue to warm up the rest of the morning. Wind speeds and directions 5 to let's go 10 miles per hour from the south southeast. These winds will pick up through the rest of the day into the rest of the week. We'll see wind gusts towards Thursday and Friday up to maybe 25 30 mile per hour winds, and then probably for the weekend before they calm down into the start of next week. SBC Outlook for today does show the slight risk of severe weather across much of the state into the southwest and the south central. Biggest concerns for today, not going to be that tornado threat. Now we will keep an eye on the atmosphere just to see if this is there, but it's going to be that wind threat up to 70 miles per hour with some of these storms, and then it's going to be golf ball sized hail or larger with some of these storms as they develop along a cold front that moves in later in the day. We see that here on our precision cast clear through the morning, right around mid midday. We'll see that cold front roll in from the northwest, sort of gets stuck through the afternoon right in the central portion of the state that allows those uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms to develop right on the backside and those will last through the night into tomorrow morning again we'll have some severe characteristics with these that could last into about 6 a.m tomorrow especially down into the south central and then it moves out and we'll have a dry day wednesday we'll have another dry day thursday now we'll have some rain down to the southwest move in about midday quickly moves out then friday we start off dry we'll have some rain move in from the southwest that could last through the weekend temperature outlook for August as it is the first day. We do see normal conditions for most of North Dakota. Our, our averages are right in the mid to upper 80s. But we'll be right around that. And then your precip outlook does show many of us have an equal chance of wetter and drier, maybe a little bit wetter down to the southwest as we get through the month of August. Your Williston five day forecast got us in the 90s the next two days, 80s for Thursday, lower 80s Friday and on Saturday. Dickinson 90s the next two days, mid 80s Thursday. Then we drop to the 70s for your Friday and Saturday will have rain chances there as well. Your Minot seven day forecast. Well, it's going to get into the 90s the next two days, 80s for Thursday and Friday. Then we hit the 70s Saturday. And we're going to look to stay in the 70s through Monday. Heaviest rain chances probably Saturday after today's thunderstorms and your Bismarck seven day forecast 90s the next two days, 80s for Thursday, the 70s Friday. And we stay in the 70s through Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I know it's early, but I'm being me, Mr. Curious, I'm just wondering when we're going to see if we will see any more 90 degree temperatures. Yeah, I, I'd imagine we'll have another yeah. chance after this sort of colder I start so. to August. I'm, sort of started last month like that. Yeah, uh, I'd imagine we do. This isn't the end. I'm not a meteorologist, and I, before you said that, I was just going to say I'm looking forward to the 70s because we know we're going to get back to the 90s. Yes, <laughs> yes. I can only hope. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Keep with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come, the State Fair is over and the numbers are in. We'll